Welcome back, people. We are here. We're here. As you can see the Jeez. sporting the unscripted. unscripted hoodie. Not yet available. See, coming to store you. <laughs> very, very soon. Just wait on it. Just wait on it. <laughs> Fam, what are you saying? How are you? I'm good. I'm loving this Kendrick album. It's amazing, you know. It's it actually is, amazing. It's a masterpiece. It actually is. And it's so funny it's... because he's been gone for what? What is it? Four, five, five years, years? Five years. Five and he years. just comes and drops this. Honestly. And it's just like, okay, now I know what you've been doing in those five years. I mean, he's been the Ghana as well, as we can see. Yeah. <laughs> Playing FIFA. FIFA. <laughs> Seems to be a sports FC. <laughs> <laughs> you would have known that Kendrick Lamar plays FIFA. I'm honestly, guy, you would you would never know. But yeah, no, Kendrick actually just reminded everyone that listen, like you are rappers are there, but yeah, I'm in my own he, league. When it comes different. to craft, when it comes to art, yeah, it's different. I don't think anyone can really rival him. He's to be honest, different. come on to think of it again. I don't like to compare the greats, but yeah, indirectly you can compare them. Mm. Do you think? Cole is even close to him. That's the thing. It's mad, like ugh. because because after Forest uh, Drive, I don't know. I don't feel that's it. That's the thing. Same. That's do you know what? Yeah, it got to a point where I feel like now I forced myself. Obviously, Cole, J Cole is still the guy. He's still a guy. But I feel like when I listen to J Cole now, it's just like okay, I've heard this before. Mm, like, I've heard yeah, it just yeah, sounds repetitive. I'm, like, I'm looking for a different sound. I don't know what it is. Like, like I still listen to Cole. it. I, yeah. like, I, know I don't know. Talking, but. but like Kendrick will come out, and I'm just like, oh wow. Yeah. What? Like mm. it's weird. It's very it's really weird. That Born Sinner, Forest yeah. Drive. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, man. Mm. Ah, but it's it's it's, 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 it's actually it's it's nah. I have to give hats off to Kendrick, man. Hats off to Kendrick. More than hats off. It was, it's actually more than hats off. Cause boy, yeah, man. <laughs> the guy's craft is 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 different. Second to none. Yeah. Second to none. Top top three songs. I can't say top one because that's impossible. Mm. So maybe yeah, maybe top three. <sighs> maybe top three is. I'll say. In no particular. N- What's it? Is it num? Is it was it N ninety five or N ninety five? N ninety five. I'll put um. Oof. The one that is. Uh, Someone that he's talking about, like uh, his mom. Oh, his mother, dad, I sober. Like, mother yeah, sober. mother sober. Yeah. Um, oof. The one I put as my third one then. <laughs> Even the top Ooh, three is hard. It's hard, you know. It's very tough. Just for a, not any, but like just whatever comes to your mind first. <sighs> oof, oof. I'm still trying to remember track names. The actual track names. Rich Spirit, Crown, Count Me Out. No. Purple Ooh, Heart. I like Purple Heart. Wow. Mr. Morale. Nah. I'm even remember. I'm surprised I'm even remember. You remember all the track names, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you listen to it. You remember all the track Unified names. Unified Grief. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Well, maybe I might say, I might just go with Crown. Oh, okay. actually. Oof. <laughs> Ooh, what is a couple. What are you saying? Um, definitely my voice so far. Yeah. That song was just deep, right? Oh, I just remembered. I just remember Die Hard. Oh, Ooh. Ooh. Mother Sova, Die Hard, mm. and and Crown. But I, mm. I know that will change. I, it's not. I just, it's just the first thing that came to mind. Yeah, man. But definitely Mother Sova. Definitely yeah, Mother that Sova. One. I think everyone is just yeah. That reminds me of um, Peer Pressure from Good Kid, Mad mm. Kid. Yeah. Yeah. He was touching some deep stuff, like yeah. it was very. Mm. It's a movie. It actually is a movie. Yeah, Kendrick, man. Crazy. It's so funny. Storytelling. Storytelling, like, the, the, across the whole He's album. He's on Nas's is, level. He actually is. He actually is. Level. When it comes to storytelling, he actually is. He actually is. Ooh. <laughs> it, mm. A couple of tracks that ever made me laugh as well. That I was like, <laughs> but, Pretty sure know, he's up. The one where um, he's going back and forth with the lady. And, oh, um, that one, yeah. Oh, so that's toxic, again. man. Yes, that's they a cried toxic, together. Yeah, that's a toxic relationship. That, that, that made me laugh, man. That made yeah. me laugh when I first heard it. <laughs> but it's the reality of today's day and age, man. That's the truth. Actually, man. That's the truth. That's the truth. Like, I can't even imagine myself even saying 10% of that stuff to my partner. Like, mm. that's crazy. Like, do you have, do you, you must have been harboring those things from even, like, that's, yeah. that's just yeah. mad. It's just crazy. 
But I don't want to understand how any people loved stay one, any in a loved relationship one. like that. Yeah, like, it's how, like, like, like I, I don't know, man. It's mad, you know. It's actually mad. The only oh, God wait. loves me. Fam, yeah, man. Deep. But Kedrick, hey. Yeah. Kedrick is different, man. Different gravy. Yeah, yeah, different yeah, gravy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. And uh, the story continues. Fam. Apparently, it's a live trial on Facebook. It, you, can, you can watch it. You can, like, can watch it. TV now. Yeah, man. You know all these big, big trials. Like they, they. You, there's okay. always something that you can watch it. Like I'm be like even like the OJ Simpson one. That like, all of those kind of big mm-hmm. trials that are like with celebrities and stuff. They, they actually show it. Mm. It's just mad. But yeah, man. Listen, Johnny Depp, get your money, man. Get your money. See <laughs> you for every last penny. See you for every last penny, man. I don't want her to have no more roles, man. Scrap her from Aquaman or wherever else she was in, man. I just scrap her. Mad. Because. Nah, man, it's 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 actually mad. Yeah, it's actually mad. Like for me, I don't have any sympathy. It's no sympathy for yeah. people that 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 cry wolf when there was no I wolf hate, and I like and when you were even now. Yeah. T- when it's now coming to show that you were the perpetrator, like nah, man. Yeah. Your punishment should be the same and equal to, if not even more than mm-hmm. if the person actually perpetrated it. You should have the equal equal punishment. Mm-hmm. So. Indeed. Yeah, man. That's yeah. my thoughts on that one. Yeah. <laughs> Sports. Wow. Yeah, let, let's start with the bad news first. Let's start bad, with football. Bad, bad, bad news, yeah. Bad, bad news is... <laughs> well, it's not really bad news for me. But <laughs> for me, I already knew... For United, number one, I already knew that top four, it wasn't happening for a long time. There was times where you guys and Spurs were bouncing and wherever you, and you, involved, you were involved a bit you, yeah. give, you guys gave us hope of anything <laughs> no you, you guys gave us hope no you no, guys you. gave us hope no no, no you. listen <laughs> i mentally signed out for the season from like <laughs> end of february i read i mentally signed out like i know we're not doing anything but then when you guys went on that losing run and then spurs went on that losing run i was like wait are we in this pick back in this race again <laughs> it wasn't even a race we shouldn't have been yeah. in this so i don't know why but again, it's come down to you two, oh. and it's like it's like, it's, it's like uh, I'm thinking right now. It's like a race of sports cars, and all the sports cars are just breaking down. See, everyone's breaking just breaking down. down. <laughs> everyone's just breaking down. Like, what, what is this? It's like nobody wants it. Nobody wants it. But yeah, no, it's looking like Spurs have got it now. But yeah. again, unless the, I, I don't unless know, a madness cool. happens, like hailstones. Yeah, you guys I don't know. Just, listen, just turn up to. It's a way in it. It's at Norwich. Yeah, I mean, not no, um, right, um, no. you're yeah, playing Everton. Um, yeah, yeah. Wait, I mean, they're playing at Norwich. They're playing at they're they're playing at they're playing at Norwich. I think. Sorry, yeah. guys, I have to check. They're playing this. at Norwich. This is important. I mean, the only good thing is Everton. Everton have now secured the yeah yeah, their which I, I expected that so to happen. So it might yeah, they might be a bit, way. Yeah, okay. So it might you know they oh, might play a little bit. There's a hope that's that hard. kills you. That's the thing. You can't lose game. completely. But nah, that's the thing. Like I can't see Spurs losing against Norwich. I'm sorry. That team has conceded 79 goals this season. How can you concede 79 goals? You don't deserve to be in the Prem. You just need a, a married on the hand of God. <laughs> honestly. Honestly. <laughs> honestly. Um, but yeah, no. Liverpool. I've got a question. Was, was that bad news for you? What? Liverpool winning. Of course. Of course. <laughs> I'm steaming. Because oh. my thing is, yeah, again, I understand Yay. these teams are better than us, yeah. Man City and Liverpool by far better than us. That's why I'm, I'm not like United, uh, other United fans here yeah, that would be like, oh yeah, yeah. Well, listen, I appreciate the football that they're doing. They've done, they've gone past being our rivals. They're too, they're yeah, too yeah, good. Yeah, so there's yeah, no point yeah. of me even hating anymore. Come on, man, they're, they're way better than us. But. I cannot stand to see <laughs> these man imagine. win everything. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. They can't. Everything no, 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 should no, no, no. be balanced. No, 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 no. Everything Man City is winning. Yeah, balanced. balanced yeah. Man City need to win that Premier League, yeah? And, and even Champions and League. Benzema. Yeah. Benzema <laughs> needs to win that Champions League. I'm sorry. Benzema needs to win that Champions League. He needs to bring it home. Hala <laughs> Madrid. Oh, my days. He was black us. Hey, listen. <laughs> nah, it has oh to happen. God. It has to happen. There's no way, there's no way I can see Liverpool winning. I don't want Liverpool to win that Champions League. Yeah. I don't want Liverpool. I think, he, as of, I, even, oh, I don't care, but not quadruple, please. No. Please, no. I won't hit the end of it. No, no way, no yeah. way, no <laughs> way. I cannot stand, I can't, I can't stand it. Hey. Uh, and then finally, um, Faga and Gunnar. Listen, they're done. <laughs> they're done, they're done. 
Listen, you know, last week I was saying that money talks. Man, I, I Jeez, walked away from that conversation. Uh, I was thinking, done. They're actually done. Now that I've seen the charges that have yeah. been brought against them, and there's evidence. Serious evidence. It's a RICO case. A RICO case it means there's no hope. Yeah. Like, there's so much evidence that for you to not go down, I don't know what's yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's impossible. That's too obvious. Yeah, that you cheated. Like, yeah, it's, it's too obvious. It's it's mad. Wow. But for me, I've never kind of understood when people. Obviously, I understand. Okay, yeah. Sometimes because I, I don't know, like your ties from back in the day, stuff might come to ruin you or whatever. So it might take some people long to leave that. Life but do these guys even have that kind of? What's that? Like background of like? Yeah. Yeah. And like was it a, affiliation like, or were they actually... I know Young Fog was doing stuff, which is okay. why, again, like, even Young Fog, when you look at his appearance, yeah, you just think he's a waste man kind of thing. Especially when he first came out, he was just looking like, look at this punk. But <laughs> the reason why a lot of people didn't test him is obviously because of his background and the people that he was surrounded with kind of thing. So Young Fog was definitely there. I don't know about Vano or any of the other people. Yeah. I don't know really about their, mm-hmm. their, their past like that. But Young Fog was really apparently there to be mm-hmm. about this. But... Fam, why you got the money now? Like, why are you just still trying to put out hits on people and stuff like that? I don't know, man. I don't know. It's but again, that's your that's your own business, man. Yeah, that's your own business. I can't can't say I feel sorry for you or anything, cause boy, right? You're it's, making it is much? definitely worse than um Bobby Smurd, isn't it? This is yeah, yeah, this is worse yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely, definitely, definitely but worse. It was a good run, man. Yes. It was a good one, man. Gave us some hits. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Now you go really push that P. <laughs> yeah, better push that P, man. Push that P. Push all your P. Push all your P. You know that one there, man. Hey, because, yeah, man, these men are <laughs> actually done for. It's yeah. mad. Crazy. Man. Boy. Whoa. <laughs> Even wait, so before I move on yeah, to the main topic, I mean, we forget like even like Nines as well when he got caught with um all those drugs and everything. Mm. It's like you guys are making so much yeah, money. Yeah, I know, well. man. Like, you don't actually need. It's, it's, I don't know, man. Wait, I don't know. More money is not enough money. I, I I don't I don't understand it. I just personally don't understand it. Mm. Wait, well, let's get to the topic of today. Indeed. And the topic of today stems in and around a lot of conversations and stuff that have been happening recently mm-hmm. again bring up elon musk trying to acquire twitter which yes. now apparently the amount that he's acquiring it for is changing for whatever reason it's increase or decrease decreasing or so decreasing. he's trying to say that there's a lot of fake accounts kind of thing oh apparently okay. one it was like one call or something of their accounts on Twitter, oh, actually so fake. he's actually acquiring so, also like the yeah, so he's acquiring everything. The I don't see yeah. of course, yeah, yeah. So you would assume like everyone there's a person behind it each account, sense. kind of thing. It so the amount of users being sense. less means that maybe I should buy it for less, kind of thing. Mm-hmm. But that's how they're there. And Twitter is meant to be one of the many platforms where people can openly, you know, speak out, mm-hmm. you know. The idea of free speech is something in this 21st, we are in the 21st century, right? 21st yeah, yeah. century, <laughs> just making sure <laughs> that's the only thing. Back to the future. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the idea of, the, of free speech is a big concept in the 21st century. Yeah. Again, with social media being present mm-hmm. and again, the world being very kind of liberal and yeah. globalized and all this kind of stuff. Now, for me, I, I, understand and i like the concept of free speech but recently i've been thinking can there be a problem with having free speech with people having so much access to you know portray their views and you know say their views can free speech actually turn out to be a negative thing in some cases uh, i can definitely um can say yes I, it's funny because even on the way here I was watching a, a snippet of one of um, Joe Budden's yeah. <laughs> episodes, and he was he was he was uh, talking about a recent story where someone um, was throwing hate online, as yeah. you know, it's not news. Um, but him and his co-host were speaking about um, how you don't know that 
you just see it as trolling in that yeah. in that scenario in that context but you don't know that there's someone actually on the other side and they can meet you real life and mm -hmm. confront you mm -hmm. you know like so it's definitely abused and people just i mean we've spoken about it as well people can just hide behind um these different mediums so yeah i definitely think so yeah a lot of people hide behind again bringing it back to sports mm -hmm. and football every other week we're hearing about one player or something being racially abused or mm -hmm. whatever kind of abuse that they'll be suffering or whatever and again it's just it's so funny because again we're always trying to say here yeah, free speech is a good thing and always trying to promote it and i do feel like it should be promoted i don't think people should be suppressed but i feel like there should be a way to navigate it mm. and that people don't have too much power yeah i see what you mean like a filter system there has to be a filter system and again on social media mm. it's very hard to do because if you want to keep it open yeah exactly. and not too restrictive yeah you have to give people the power it's true you know but it's just really it's i think bad. it's just like gary v said he said like social media just accelerated everything i think it has it's hard to believe it's always been like this mm. where people just say what they they say do what they like yeah and you can actually see it and read mm -hmm. it and stuff but and even like with like that of free speech again brings up the whole concept of like propaganda and stuff like that because yes. again That's especially the in the social media yes. generation misleading a lot of people, people a lot of people Definitely. are misled someone will just say something and it's like it's the truth yes it's like it's just the truth no one does their research but <laughs> yeah. no their reason and then you take it as the gospel truth and then a lot of people start to fall for these ideologies or whatever yeah. and again i feel like even just to, to pause you to stop you there yeah someone sent me um a post of uh kevin sam was apparently um not having a will and his family having a go family pay for his funeral mm. a couple of days later they sent me another post saying it was a hoax i mean like <laughs> it's, it's, it's someone mad. made a fake account and uh, it's actually it. mad it's actually mad and there's a lot of other like similar um examples and stuff like that even to the extent that when some of these people die like i have to just be checking to make sure somebody haven't made it up because mm. i remember like even like um when what's this guy the agent maniola died yeah like a couple of days before they were saying that he's dead or whatever because obviously people wanted yeah. to troll him because he's meant to be a greedy agent or whatever whatever, yeah. whatever mm. reason so people were saying that he's dead already and all this kind of stuff and people were just laughing or whatever mm. and then he wasn't even dead at the time he was just sick and then when he eventually died and then people were now saying oh yeah now he's dead or whatever and still trolling but it's just it's so unfiltered i feel like everyone can just have access to say anything mm. if you go to like central like oxford street and all that i'm there often and every other day there's a protest or something and mm. I'm, I'm just like what are you kind of protesting about yeah <laughs> there's always a protest there's yeah. always something going on mm -hmm. and i'm just like okay what sometimes yeah again with certain protests i'm just like what is your end goal like yeah. what uh -huh. do you want from this mm -hmm. what do you actually want from this again a lot of the kind of green um people and the people are trying to push sustainability and stuff like that a lot of them come out and they protest and they do all this kind of stuff and then i'm just like okay number one number one this you haven't altered offered any alternatives yeah number two a lot of the schemes that you're pushing <coughs> in one way or the other doesn't necessarily help that environment it's just you know another alternative mm -hmm. which again probably will still have the imp same impact mm. but you're just out here just making noise mm. because you can mm -hmm. exactly and what comes to mind is that lockdown protest that first happened. Ah, oh, look, yeah. look, look, <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, you know, it's true. No, it's, it's, very true. <laughs> it's very true, you know. It's actually very true. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a funny one. Um, how do you control it? How do you... Is it enough just to, be, to do your... To do your research, to be self-aware? I mean, I mean, it's a tricky one. It is. It's a very tricky one to navigate because I'm not gonna come and say that we should now go back and just be a communist society and people should have 
the time yeah. to speak and mm-hmm. say whatever. But I feel like there has to be some kind of way that is governed properly so that some silly ideologies don't just just come about. Mm-hmm. Because again, I can legit say I this is my beliefs with anything and everyone has to accept it pretty much in this day and age. Really, I could be racist and openly just come out and say, oh yeah, I'm racist, I do this, I don't like black people or whatever. Some people take it to the extent that they'll be shooting up people. There was a story, I don't know if you saw that guy that, um, that um, went around the shooting people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shop, and this yeah. gun, he had the N-word and then thing, and like, it was like higher than the N-word. And I was thinking like, what the heck? And then obviously when they now check these track records and stuff like that, this, on Twitter and all these kind of platform stuff, he says he, they're open about what their what their beliefs mm. are, and I'm just like, how does those stuff not even get censored? Anyway, mm. it doesn't really make sense to me. Mm. It, like the things that get censored on like Twitter and, and all these social media sites or whatever. Sometimes I don't even feel like those are the things that they're should be pointless. censored. They're yeah. pointless. But then when you should actually censor something, yeah. when someone's commenting a monkey emoji over under a black player, you don't censor that. Mm. So I'm just like. Mm. And there's there's no, they can never say, oh, that got biased or that went uh, that went over our heads. We you missed that. No, they see everything that goes on. That's the These thing. These platforms see everything. They every see post, everything. every retweet, yep. they see every yep. single thing. You just type in COVID or Corona, the, the fact checkers and everything will come up. So you can you can put in those thing, um, you can put that into place, but you can't put in no kind of filter for racism or derogatory mm-hmm. terms or anything like that it's interesting to me man it's interesting um, I'm <laughs> definitely can't think of a solution right now <laughs> but, uh, I, I don't even know <laughs> this is one of them ones I don't even know if there's a solution I don't think there's a solution this is just this is just one of them ones that I feel like everyone should just have an open conversation about just so that we're aware mm. kind of thing because I, I don't know because the, the only real solution is just completely just not allowing people to speak and yeah. we know that from experience that communist cause, uh, communism and all of that doesn't work mm. kind of thing well some capacity people should be penalized definitely That's the thing. and we need to encourage <laughs> i don't want to say a word like this i say it in this way but we need to encourage um you know our society to see um the abuse of freedom of speech as not cool mm, because yeah. it's cool to many people it is cool it is cool and another thing as well that i think is very this is what i mean when it comes to freedom of speech i feel like it's very tailored towards certain ideas and ideologies when someone has their freedom to speak out about mm. something that maybe is against their religion or faith mm. or whatever or beliefs, it is shut down. Like I don't know if you saw um who was it again? Um I think it was Idris um Garner Gay for thing, PSG. Mm. He, yeah, apparently he didn't want to wear the um the rainbow sleeve, whatever yeah. kind of thing. Uh-huh. And then a lot of people are like, Oh yeah, why is he why is he doing that? But then it came to me, I was like, I mean, under the guise of freedom of speech, shouldn't yeah. you be entitled to... Exactly. You know, I've, always, I've always said, like, if people have freedom of speech, of the freedom even, of will, the f- yeah. freedom to just do what they want to do, yeah. and people don't want to believe, people also have the freedom to respect it, but yeah. also to choose not to... Because, <laughs> yeah. like, for me, like, whether, whether I be being homosexual, whether it's right or wrong, whatever, down to him I feel like based on freedom of speech him just saying that well, I don't want to wear it mm-hmm. this shouldn't be a problem yeah he's not hurting anybody exactly he's not doing anything so it's like everyone has to accept it that's the thing and that's why I feel like that's, there the, is a that's bit, the main problem yeah that's why I feel like there's a bit of hypocrisy with some things because you're free to speak about some things but you're not free to speak about other things yes like, it's, yeah. not, it's not equal to everyone I only agree. some people can be free to speak I agree. And it's like... 100%. Hmm. 100%. And I think as well, you know, when you're in the public eye, you're more limited and controlled in a way yeah. to speak freely or to be mm. yourself. It's in true. different capacities when you think about it. That's true. Because you're then counting the 
sometimes literally counted the cost of do I say this and risk this or yeah it's true you know because I'm just thinking there must be a lot of players that whether they they agree with it or not there's a lot of players that probably don't want to wear rainbow stuff there's a lot of players that don't want to even be wearing black clouds matter yeah. or stuff like uh-huh, that uh-huh. kind of thing but again they can't really come out and say because mm, they're in the public eye exactly. as well. So again, at the cancel same point, culture, yeah. exactly cancel culture. So again, even when I think about it, are we actually even? Is freedom of speech even a real thing if mm. everything is pretty much controlled by what the general yeah. consensus is? Yeah. Like, if I cannot come out and say this is something that I don't believe in, am I really? Do I really have freedom to speak about it? Mm. It's true. If I can That's only say point. what the public what the kind of general consensus yeah, is yeah 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 what people want to hear what people want to hear <laughs> it's am true. i free it's very 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 true it, that is a very good question and it, these kind of questions like people think about but mm. they don't even speak about they don't they don't they don't speak about it publicly openly mm. maybe even like their own circles and whatnot but it's a very it's so true man it's mm. actually so true. Ah, oh, wow. That's true, though. Mm. It's interesting. It's interesting. And then just like, just one other point to like even just touch upon as well. Because <laughs> again, this all kind of going back to the the whole social media thing and like even Elon Musk acquiring um, um, Twitter. Mm-hmm. And then even like Mark Zuckerberg owning pretty much all the other like social media sites as well. Metaverse. Damn metaverse, as you call it. <laughs> Meta. <laughs> <laughs> it's like since these guys own these platforms, is does that kind of it can that be harmful to freedom of speech in mm. the sense that um, at any point. Mark Zuckerberg can pull, the plug. can pull the plug on on any of these sites or can say, okay, this ain't this ain't right. I don't want you guys to speak about this. We're not we're gonna hide this. Or like they've shown in like the corona kind of stuff. Mm. Anything that kind of was against corona completely shut it down. Yeah, anything I spoke about. Anything I spoke about like gets, you know, it gets things. So in that sense, is there <coughs> is freedom of speech being threatened by social media at the same time? Yeah. I believe so. Um, again, <laughs> we, don't, we definitely don't have all the answers. We don't have all the answers. Um, no, I, I definitely believe so. I guess it's just a thing where you, you just use it to the best of your capacity mm. and hope for the best. And just That's be enough. aware that, you know, be aware that, number one, there are people that abuse freedom, freedom of speech yeah. on the platforms. Mm-hmm. And be aware that you supposedly not abusing freedom of speech may be limited in one way or another yeah mm. you know so you can use it as leverage but obviously you're limited yeah everyone knows it's true it's so mad it's so mad because again like just even just talking about like there's so many examples like even the russia um ukraine war that's going on mm-hmm. lives being lost on both sides and um, again, there's a narrative that is on um, on like social media and all these, you know, um, modern media sites and stuff. And you can't really speak about. To be honest, in this in this scenario with war, for me, it's the innocent people that I, I'm mm-hmm. thinking about. Both sides. There's people doing killing on both sides, mm. but. When it comes down to things, you're always kind of geared to, you know, take one side rather than looking at the broader picture. Mm. It's always, oh, this person is right or this person is wrong mm. or we should support this side or not support that side. Where in this case, there's people dying. Like, mm-hmm. You shouldn't really be looking to support any side, really. Obviously, we can see that one, yeah. one, one country is being more of a bully, but at the same time, people are forgetting that yeah. lives are, are being exactly. lost on both sides yeah so mad yeah man i don't have answers man i don't have answers yeah man. but it's just good to have this conversation Amazing. like this mm. to bring self-awareness to others and ourselves especially mm. um and as i've been trying 
to gear my mind to be more um, aware as well of yeah. fake news and like oh, you said yeah, the man. abuses all yep. through the speech uh, yep. so you don't have to be conspiracist or like Mr. Propaganda but not be not not jump towards like yeah because that's just the world we live in now it. so just to just jump quickly and just nah <laughs> we can't definitely, definitely oh my not. days yeah nah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny because so many of the topics that we talk about like they're so unending like the conversation is just there's mm. so many different ways to like look at look indeed. at it as well indeed indeed maybe another one to have with other people we guess yeah man yeah, yeah. alright guys but yeah guys thanks guys. for listening watching mm-hmm. catch you on the next one <laughs>